On this video, I'm going to show you how to add a locomotive to the roster in the JMRI Decoder Pro program. I just opened up JMRI Decoder Pro and it shows the roster, all the locomotives that I have in here now. I want to add this new locomotive that we have parked here on the programming track. And in order to do that, the first thing you need to do is read from that decoder some of the information about that uh, decoder that's in that locomotive. And it is now reading the CVs from the locomotive decoder. It has now come up with the possibilities of the kind of decoder that could be in here. In order to narrow that down, we'll go up here to the inner mountain and we'll click on the F7. It will now go into that decoder and start reading some of the information that's on that decoder, including the address that's on there at the present time. It just came up with the address that locomotive is now set at, at 1500. I'm going to add the information that I want on the roster about this locomotive when I bring it up. So I have to type in Alaska. And uh, we're going to put on there the number 1500. And that it is an F7. That'll be the information that'll come up on the roster when the roster is opened. The next thing I'm going to do is ask it to read some more of the information about what's on that decoder. Such information as to what the labels will be on the throttle for the various F numbers. So when the throttle is opened up, it won't bring up just F1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. It'll bring up the uh, thing that the throttle does when I push that particular number, like if it's the horn or the bell or the whistle or whatever. Now it says OK down here. That means it has read all that information that I need. So I will now save that information to the roster, what we have so far by clicking on Save down here. As you see, now it brought up that locomotive here on my roster, as I had typed it in. But it wants me to repeat adding the road name. Just in case I go and change the shell of this locomotive, I could go here and make the changes to make it identifiable. And it's the Intermountain. And it's an F7. Now that I've got all that information typed in, I can now go down here to where it says Labels and Media. And this is going to tell me what all those buttons will say on a throttle when I open it up. The only one I'm unhappy with is this one that says FX5 Lite. Actually, on this locomotive, I know it's the number board. So I'm going to type in number board. Okay, and then down behind the locomotive, there's a spot that says Save Roster, Save to Roster. So I'm going to go down and click on that, Save to Roster. So now it has that information in the file here in Decoder Pro. I can now close up that screen, and I can go down and, again, click on that locomotive so that the program knows what throttle I want to open up and click on Throttle. Now, as you see, all that information that I had been brought down automatically is now on the throttle. So when I do the bell, it rings the bell and the horn and uh, the number boards. All that happens when I do it here. I can set up this uh, a little bit differently so that I can see the uh, headlight button, which I can. And once I've got all that set up to the way I like it, I can then just go up here and click on save the current throttle. That way when we open it up in the future it'll always come up that same way. So I can close that up and close this original screen up. Here it has the original throttle as we showed it before, the original roster. Now if I just click on throttle it'll bring it up just as I had it set up and we're all set to go with that locomotive added to the roster on the uh, 
JMRI Decoder Pro program. So now I can just close everything up and shut the system down and thank you for watching.